Behold, the stethoscope. But where did it come from? Meet René Lenec, born in France in 1781. It's no surprise that René became a doctor. As a child, he suffered from pyrexia and was possibly asthmatic. When he was five, his mother died of tuberculosis, and he began living with an uncle. René spent time playing the flute, reading the classics, and writing poetry. By the age of 18, he had achieved the rank of third-class surgeon at the local military hospital. René moved to Paris and his reputation quickly grew. His major innovation didn't occur until he was 35, walking past some kids on a September morning in 1816. They were sending each other messages by tapping a pin against one end of a long wooden beam. René realized this could be exactly what he needed for a patient. He first used rolls of paper to channel the sound, but eventually he created his stuff of genius. Today we call it the stethoscope, but René's original version looked more like an old-fashioned ear trumpet. It was made of a rigid wood and it only transmitted sound to one ear. The tube had a plug at one end, meant to be placed against a patient's chest, and the doctor placed his ear at the other end. This process of listening to internal noises of the human body is known as auscultation. As more doctors began to use this device, they also began to improve it, eventually arriving at the flexible stereoscopic stethoscope found around the world today.